know, he's a North Star for anyone wanting to reach new heights. And now former astronaut Jose Hernandez is hoping the movie about his life inspires the next generation of astronauts, especially young Latinos. ABC's Melissa Adan sat down with the American treasure. The 1972 Apollo 17 mission marked the most recent occasion where humans walked on the moon. It's got to be one of the most proud moments of my life, I guarantee you. Watching from his home in Stockton, one 10-year-old inspired by it. I've wanted this for almost 30 years. Ma, ¿por qué sirven las estrellas? This moment, recreated on the screen in prime videos a million miles away, was the foundation for Jose Hernandez's big dream. If you could picture a 10-year-old boy kneeling down watching a black and white TV antenna, watching Gene Cernan walk on the moon, I said, man, I want to be like him. His humble beginnings proved the terrain ahead would be tumultuous. Hernandez would travel annually to the farms, then school. By age 10, he was learning English. But what his peers didn't realize is he would one day soar to tremendous heights, a lesson he hopes to share with all Latinos watching at home. Never be afraid to, uh, to dream big. Just put in the work and good things will happen. I always tell people it's funny how the harder I work, the luckier I get. The astronaut is full of pride during our interview in Los Angeles. His accomplishments are truly out of this world. After earning degrees in engineering and working at the Johnson Space Center, he was chosen to go to space in 2009 as a mission specialist. But getting there meant sacrificing and facing ugly truths, which he faced by following his own North Star. You know, I remember the very first time I felt discriminated at school. I went home and complained to my mom. And my mom said a phrase that I'd never forget. She said, mijo, mátalos con el amor. Kill them with love. And the plain reality is that you do have to work harder to get the same amount of, of credit. And you could do either one of two things. You could put a chip on your shoulder and feel sorry for yourself and say, whoa, he's me, look at me, they're discriminating. Or you can abide by that rule and say, I'm just going to work harder. That tenacity, his superpower, and the key to his success, because his acceptance into the NASA space program didn't come easily. It came after a dozen attempts. Talk about perseverance. This is what I always tell in my motivational talks. I said, when you pick your goal in life, make sure you enjoy the journey along the way, because that's 80, 90% of your time and your effort. And if you're not enjoying the journey, chances are you picked the wrong goal for yourself. Yes, I was disappointed, and yes, I sulked for one or two days, but then I propped myself up and I said, hey, look around, Jose. Remember 30 years ago you were picking cucumbers for 50 cents a bucket? Look where you're at now. So you could turn me down again, but rest assured, I'll be standing here again in a year. A Million Miles Away, which stars Michael Peña, tells Jose's story and one of so many migrant families. We have migrant families coming and they want their children to go to school, but at the same time, they're trying to make a living. And it is very hard. I mean, your parents took a major sacrifice. How do you encourage even other families in, in similar situations? I realize that parents, you know, are trying to put food on the table and they're working long hours. Uh, but I think if they work as a team and, and, and sort of uh, have some type of agreement that there's, there's a way to provide that environment at home. Jose has already beaten the odds by all accounts. Successful career, a master's degree, husband, father of five. But something in him and those around him pointed him straight to the stars. What do they have that you don't have? A boy that was raised picking vegetables in the fields of California, one day becoming the first migrant farm worker to make it to space. He didn't just shoot for the stars, he found himself right among them. And I wanna ask you, was it worth it? Being able to see the earth from a unique perspective, you know, this is a little over 500 people have had that privilege out of 7 billion. I mean, this is a privilege bigger than being a president of a country or a NBA, or NFL football, I mean, this is, the odds are a lot harder. Yes, of course it was worth it, absolutely. 
At this phase of life, Jose says his mission is shifting. For you, I can tell, like, you light up when you're saying that you're speaking to schools or engagements or kind of right now talking to youth about specifically getting into STEM careers. Yes. Why is that so important to you? Kids see people, someone that looks like them, you know, brown skin, speaks English with an accent, came from humble beginnings, and I want them to feel empowered and say, if he could do it, why can't I? How inspiring. Our thanks to Melissa. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.